Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for this new video on Uncut Sports. We will be sharing latest sport news. Super Bowl news. Mic'd up Chiefs coaches couldn't believe Patrick Mahomes threw a TD with team in the wrong formation. If you needed any indication as to how well the Chiefs played in the second half of Sunday's Super Bowl 57, just look at the fourth quarter touchdown to Sky Moore. The Chiefs weren't lined up in the right formation, and they managed to score anyway. On the latest edition of Inside the NFL from NFL Films, we got a mic'd up look at the Chiefs' 38-35 win over the Eagles. And one sequence, in particular, stood out. Shortly after Kadarius Tona's 65-yard punt return put the Chiefs inside the 5-yard line, Mahomes connected with Moore on a short touchdown pass to extend the lead to 8 points. But in that footage, we saw that head coach Andy Reid wanted to call a timeout, which wasn't granted. That was because Reid saw that the Chiefs weren't in the right formation. Mahomes knew that at the line and made it work anyway. When Mahomes got to the sidelines, an awestruck Matt Nagy grabbed him and shouted, We were in the wrong, expletive, formation. Mahomes said, I know we were. I know. That's why I went to motion him right. Plays are never truly doomed when Mahomes is at quarterback. That much is clear. Football news. Arsenal 1-3 Man City. Erling Holland goal caps ruthless victory as defending champions jump above Gunners at Premier League Summit. Manchester City seized the initiative in the Premier League title race with a ruthless 3-1 win over Arsenal to send the defending champions above the Gunners at the top of the table. In a pulsating encounter at the Emirates Stadium which lived up to its billing, City's title-winning pedigree eventually told as a goal from Jack Grealish, 72, and a 26th of the campaign from Erling Holland, 82, clinched a potentially pivotal victory for Pep Guardiola's side. Earlier, Bukayo Saka's penalty, 42, after Ederson was deemed to have fouled Eddie Nketiah, had cancelled out an opening goal from Kevin De Bruyne, 24, who lifted a brilliant first-time finish over Aaron Ramsdale following a poor Takahira Tomiyasu backpass. Arsenal, without Thomas Partey due to a muscular injury, deserved their leveller having started positively, but their recent slip-ups against Everton and Brentford had opened the door to City and Mikel Arteta's side were unable to resist their second-half pressure. The defeat extends Arsenal's winless run to three games and puts the momentum behind a City side seemingly galvanised by the charges levelled against them by the Premier League. They go top on goal difference, albeit having played a game more. Borussia Dortmund 1-0 Chelsea. Kareem Adaimi's goal is the difference in Champions League round of 16 first leg. Kareem Adaimi's brilliant breakaway goal for Borussia Dortmund means Chelsea have a 1-0 deficit to overcome following the first leg of their Champions League round of 16 tie. Graham Potter's side had the better chances amid a boisterous atmosphere in Germany but Thiago Silva had a goal disallowed for handball and Joao Felix hit the crossbar when well placed. Ademaye's solo run punished their earlier profligacy just after the hour mark. It was cruel on Chelsea given their performance. Once behind they pushed hard for the equaliser and came close when Khalidou Koulibaly had his fierce shot cleared off the line by Imre Khan. But they must now come from behind at Stamford Bridge to progress. The defeat on the night means that Chelsea have now won only once in nine matches since the turn of the year and though Potter will have been encouraged by some of what he saw, this was further evidence that this is a team still finding ways not to seize victory. The Chelsea boss told BT Sport, The boys have been fantastic in terms of their work, but at the moment, we're suffering in terms of results. But the performance was a big step forward for us tonight. It's half time. We need to regroup and take the game at Stamford Bridge. Formula R News. Lewis Hamilton predicts 2023 F1 title battle and exciting future with Mercedes as contract talks begin. A refreshed, Lewis Hamilton is confident Mercedes will return to Formula One prominence this season but insists they have nothing to prove to convince him to commit his future, with talks on a new deal having begun. Hamilton heads into a contract year age 38 this season but cast an energetic, upbeat and excited figure at Mercedes car launch on Wednesday despite the struggles of 2022, when the team fell from F1 domination to third and Hamilton from battling for a record eighth title to a career-worst sixth in the championship. It's no coincidence that we've won world championships in the past. You don't all the sudden just lose the ability to be able to do so. Max Verstappen and Red Bull dominated last year and Hamilton admitted Mercedes, perhaps won't be the fastest out out the gate, but said they have the potential to be closer and to close the gap early on in the season, which begins on March 5 in Bahrain. Regardless of their pace, 
Hamilton says he intends to continue in F1 with Mercedes beyond this season, with team boss Toto Wolff confirming the pair have held a first chat, but are not pressed for time over his deal. NBA News NBA Roundup Milwaukee Bucks top Boston Celtics in overtime for 11th straight win. The Bucks' Drew Holiday scored a career-high 40 to lead his team to an 11th consecutive win over the Celtics. The Clippers' Kawhi Leonard scored 33 points against the Warriors. Devin Booker returned from injury to notch 32 over the Kings as Kevin Durant watched from the sidelines. All-Star Slam Dunk, Skills and 3-Point Contest participants announced. Keep up to date with all the key stories from around the NBA on a daily basis in our live news blog with everything from injury updates to major breaking stories, we've got you covered. Boxing News Floyd Mayweather's next opponent Aaron Chalmers on the journey from Geordie Shore to boxing the best. Floyd Mayweather's next opponent is ex-Geordie Shore star Aaron Chalmers, who has won five MMA fights but not taken to the cage since 2020. Mayweather won all 50 of his professional bouts and has faced a number of MMA fighters in exhibition contests in recent years. Former reality TV star Aaron Chalmers admits fighting Floyd Mayweather is like a movie, after being selected as the next opponent for the legendary boxer. They will share the ring in an exhibition fight on February 25 at London's O2 Arena, in what will be undefeated Mayweather's first bout on British soil. That concludes today's video on Uncut Sports' latest sport news. Make sure to tune in and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss it.